Happy New Year everyone! I am finally back with another video and we are starting off the new year with a simple braid which is a fishtail braid. For this collar you will need a side release buckle. I'm using a 20mm but you can use whatever suits your dog breed. You'll need a welded D-ring the same size as your buckle. Some paracord. For this braid it's the same as a cobra braid. You'll need one foot for every inch of collar. So a 10 inch collar will need 10 foot of cord. You'll need a ruler for measuring your collar, scissors for trimming the ends, a lighter for sealing the ends, and needle nose pliers. I talk all the time about how brilliant these are, you will use them all the time, so if you don't have any, definitely invest in some, they will make your life so much easier. The first thing to do is separate your buckle pieces and choose which side you want to start with. It doesn't make a difference to the collar, but if you're making these for a business, I'd choose the same side each time as it just looks nicer. Take your D-ring and lie over the top. These will be bound together when you do your starter knot. I have another video that I'll link below just showing you how to do the starter knot if you'd like to watch that before we start this braid. Otherwise, we'll just go and jump right in. As you can see, I've taped down my buckle to my surface. I do have a paracord jig, but it's too big for videos, so I don't tend to use it. You don't need to tape down the buckle if you prefer freehand, but I just find it easier for videos. That way I'm not worrying about it sliding all over the place. I like to work left to right, it makes no difference, it's just personal preference. So I'm going to take my left strand and pop it in between the two centre pieces over the left and under the right. I'm going to pull that all the way through and then I'm just going to repeat that exact same thing with the right strand. So I'm going to take it over those two pieces there, through the centre and under this left centre strand, pull that all the way through. And then it can be tempting to pull down here, but this ends up with a big gap and you'll have to do a lot of adjusting later. To avoid this, just try and pull across as much as possible. It will just save you a lot of time later on. I'm just going to take my left strand and repeat the exact same process. So I'm going to go over, through the middle and under the right. I'm trying to adjust as I go just to make my life a little bit easier. So when I push up here, you can already see the fishtail starting to take effect there. And now I'm just going to take my right strand and again I'm just going to go over these two through the centre point and under that left centre strand. Pull it all the way through. And again, I'm just going to push up and adjust as I go. This is a really simple braid. It is just repeating these two steps as you go through. It might be a bit finicky at the start. It's not as finicky as I'm making it look. It's just because I'm standing behind a camera. But once you get going, you will fly through it. So it's just repeating this process again. So through the middle, underneath, adjust. And then same with the other side through the middle, underneath, adjust. And you're just going to keep doing that the entire way down. So instead of sitting here for a good half an hour and showing you that, I'm going to just speed through and I'll come back once we are at the end. Also, please excuse how bumpy this video looks. I kept hitting the camera every time I moved. What you might notice with this particular braid is it can get quite uneven. It's not normally this uneven, it's just because I'm filming from behind my camera and I kept bumping it. It will even out more as your dog wears it or as you play around with it. But if it really bothers you, then just take your needle nose pliers and just go down and adjust each bit. This also applies if you run out of cord. So if you find that you've got not enough, go back and tighten everything because guaranteed you do have enough, it just needs tightened up. So to finish off, we have our strands tucked to the back 
and we're just going to take one and hide it in the braid down either side. Now we're not going to do all of it, we will cut off some excess. This might mean that you have some loose parts that you then need to retighten, which is why these are so invaluable. I do have smaller ones that I prefer, but I've just moved house and I cannot find them anywhere. So you're just going to loosen one of these and you're going to try and pop a strand through it. Now it might be that you need to put the pliers through and grab because I didn't do a good job singeing the ends here. They don't fit. So I'm just going to put my pliers through, grab the end of the cord and pull it through. Now I would recommend you do maybe about three of these if not more just for extra security. And once you've done it on this side, you're just going to go and do the exact same with the right side. Now that we've finished that, you might notice it does look a bit uneven. So I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to go and tighten up all of these little bits just to make it look nicer. And now that I've done that, I am just going to bend this and I'm going to take my scissors. Now again, I can only find my pinking shears. I have no idea what I've done with all my stuff. It just has escaped me. But you're just gonna trim off the ends. I'm gonna leave a little bit of excess for burning. I'm gonna grab your lighter and just be careful with this section because you don't want to burn open the cord just because it doesn't look very nice. So make sure when you do it, you're just being careful to burn the ends. And then I'm gonna take my pliers again and just pinch them together just to make it a little bit flatter. And once I've done that for both sides, I'm going to hide it in the braid. So I'm just going to tuck it in and you won't even see it. It just looks fantastic. And there we have it, one fishtail braid dog collar. Now you can do this with cat collars as well. I'll put that in the description below. It's the exact same measurements. I would just use a thinner cord. This braid is fantastic because it is not as thick as your Cobra braid and it's not as tough. This collar is also really cute. So I will be doing a video on this collar for Valentine's Day. So keep an eye out for that as that is just the cutest thing ever. So <laughs> the benefits, going back, the benefits of your fishtail braid is it's softer and it's a lot more pliable. It's also less likely to rub, so if you have a smooth coated dog, such as your greyhound or similar, it's less likely to rub at their skin. And there we are, one beautiful and simple collar. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always let me know how you get on. If you can, please post pictures because I love to see them. And if you have any questions, just pop them down into the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.